So in this video, I want to talk about giving up. My passion for the longest time was movie making, telling stories through the art of cinematography and writing. For a while, I was really into actual writing. For a while, I was really into painting. And it changes constantly. Um, but the thing that I really followed the most was filmmaking. I went to school for filmmaking. I got a degree in filmmaking. I made a bunch of short films, some of which won some minor awards. I made a web series with some really good friends of mine that did okay, and it proved that we could make something that we felt was really good quality at a, at a feature length scale. So then we went and made a feature film. And making the feature film was awesome. Uh, preparing to make the feature film was my favorite part, and then actually making it was amazing. Then came distributing it, which was a whole bunch of challenges. And what really happened was the, lo the more success that we had with it, the less happy I got. And it was really weird because basically all of my conscious life, all of the time that I've known what I wanted to do, what I wanted to do, I was certain that if I was just a successful filmmaker that I would be happy. And let me tell you, that's not the case. You hear that all the time from people that are extremely successful in their field and they say, this isn't, it doesn't make you happy. And it's not just that like, oh, you need to learn how to be happy along the way because I was happy along the way. It was weird how the more success I had in this field, the more pressure there was to succeed more, the more I was not interested in doing it at all. I l would lay on my floor for basically days on end before I picked up painting, which was kind of the thing that saved me. And I just would think, well, what's the point now? I'm just, I'm done. And I just didn't, I, I, I had this, gut feeling that I knew I had to give up on my my passion, at least for now. I, I So many people were coming at me asking, what are you going to do next? What film are you going to make next? What's going to happen next? And my, my answer was always, I don't know yet. And that's okay. Because I was reeling. My brain was just going crazy with, okay, I could do this or I could do this. And there was almost so many opportunities. And I knew that if we got a script that I could raise enough money to make a really good movie next time, which I still believe, but at the time it was like, it has to happen now or it's never going to happen. And if it doesn't happen now, then I'm never gonna be happy in life. And like, I'll never know if like, if I didn't go for it. It was just all of this like, honestly, dumb advice that there is online. And I get why they put it the way that it is, but it's like, sometimes just pushing through, it just makes you miserable. And maybe I'm just not one of the people that are, and I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to make it in that field. Or maybe I am, and this is just a weird in-between period. I'm still only 26 years old. Who knows what could happen? But at that time, I could not let go of it until I did. That, on top of a few other things, snapped me out of that depression. And it was weird because I've had that depression for as long as I can remember, as long as I remember being a person that knows that it's a person. I just had this sadness to me. Um, and for the first time I felt this like weight lifted, all of this pressure that I don't even know where it came from because my mom never put a lot of pressure on me. My family didn't put a lot of pressure on me. I put all this pressure on myself. And then it was just like, oh, okay, I can just, you know, exist. I can be happy for a while. I can paint. I can not paint. I can write. I can not write. I can make a film. I can not make a film. Whatever. Giving up on that passion was the thing that just helped me move through that one gate. There were a few gates that like kind of opened, or I guess I pushed through those gates to get to the point where I'm at now. And it's just crazy to me that that thing that I grasped so hard for so long, that I'm totally not just giving up on. I'm not done. I'm not gonna never make a film again. But if I never made a film again, I'd be okay. And there's just like, I can't, really explain it, but I'm trying. It's just like those passions that sometimes feel like giving up is not an option. And if I give up, I'm a loser, I'm a quitter. If I give up, then I, I'll never know if I could have made it. And the thing is like, it might be arrogant, but I know that if I put enough effort into that, I could be successful at it. The thing is, I also know that wouldn't make me happy. 
and it wouldn't make the people around me happy. It wouldn't necessarily contribute more to society. So why? And that's what you gotta ask yourself sometimes. I just wanted to share that with you because you don't hear that almost ever. You always hear, just push through it. And if you just, you know, the ones that succeed are the ones that didn't give up. And yeah, that's true, probably, but who knows. Also, like, if you need a break, take a break. Life is much, much longer than it feels. It's so short, but it's also so long. Like, our perception of time, if you just slow down and relax a little bit, get to feel life, get to kind of step off the train for a little bit in between stations and walk around and enjoy the neighborhood, you know? If you're on a stage in your career and you've got further to go, but maybe you just want to hang out here for a while, that's kind of where I'm at, and I think that that's a totally acceptable place to be. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy these types of videos, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be part of the discussion, comment down below. I respond to every single comment, and usually a couple other people chime in, and we have a conversation about stuff. So this conversation is going to be about a time that you stopped doing something that you thought you wanted, and it made you happier to stop doing it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.